What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. Overall goal of the series is to buy a $100 Funko Pop from each Funko Pop category, starting with just $50. Here's our balance from the previous episode. I also ended up selling a pop for $20, which was Dipper Pines over at the Perfect. What's Poppin' event a couple weeks ago. So with that $20, here's our new balance. So far we have knocked off 12 of the Funko Pop categories for $100 Funko Pops. And I actually made a list as well. A lot of people were asking like, do you have a list to keep track of all the ones that you have? Well, here it is. But today we're gonna head to some of my local stores to see if we can find anything to flip to add funds back into our collection budget. So without any further ado, let's get out there. Let's see if we can find some good deals. Here we go. Here we go. So my dudes, we are out and about. I found some $5 out of box pops. I always like to stress this on the channel, especially with the $50 series. Take a chance on out of box pops, especially ones that you can't find very often that are a little bit more rare. Definitely worth a pickup, like I said, $5 a piece, and there's some pretty solid ones in here. And I've actually been to this place before and bought some pops from this guy before. So uh, yeah, it might look a little familiar. Good to see you again. <laughs> I feel like it's just like a couple times a week at this point. <laughs> Surprised how popular these two were. <laughs> oh yeah, the Chucky and the uh, yeah. the Reptar. That's, that's sweet. what everybody kind of messaged about today. I'm oh, sorry. okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So I had, was it five of them that I had? So we got the Reptar, the Carl, the Twelfth Doctor. There's a couple more I added, like oh, okay. the Venom guy. And oh, okay. The Doctor Strange Venom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And the yeah, Sheldon. Sheldon. Okay. All right, folks, quick little overview of all the different stuff that I got out of box for 25 for all of these. Sheldon Cooper's an awesome one. Reptar, 12th Doctor. Chucky matches well with the Reptar. We also have Carl from The Walking Dead and also Edward from Twilight. So pretty solid pickups, guys. All right, folks, as we do with most episodes of the $50 challenge, we're going to go into Entertain Mart and see if we can add any money back into our collection budget by buying cheap Funko Pops. So let's go check it out. So checking out the front of the store, guys, I did notice this Overwatch pop, and it's the weirdest like size of box I've ever seen. It's not quite a six inch, but it's kind of almost the same size as a three inch one. But as far as profit goes, I don't think I'm going to pick that one up, but still a very unique pop you don't see very often. Checking out their back section over here, guys, seeing if we can find anything good. We have Baby from Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I'm going to pass on this one, but Five Nights at Freddy's is a good one to be on the lookout for, especially with the new movie coming out. We have a Baruto pop right here, and I think that's about what it goes for, and it does have damage, so we're we're going to pass on that. This mini puff, a Baskin Robbins exclusive. We're going to pass on that one as well, but one you don't see often. We have Squidly Diddly, which is a Hanna-Barbera pop. Their price is pretty spot on on that. So we're going to pass on that. This Miles Morales is pretty awesome. I love how he's hanging upside down. He's got his winter gear on. I think that's what I'm going to pick up from my personal collection. This pop right here actually does have a chase variant. And so that makes the common a lot cheaper than you would think. But I did find this guys for $10 and this is selling for around $35, $30 online. So we're definitely picking this up, even though it's a little bit of a newer pop. Anyways, General Grievous is a cool one too. There is another one that's a Walgreens exclusive. So that one's a little bit more expensive than this one, but taking a look at the front section guys, they had some more Five Nights at Freddy's. I definitely would have picked this one up, but the box was really faded on the front. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I ended up passing on that due to that fact. We also have this Nightcrawler pop, which is pretty awesome that you don't see often. We also have Beast from Split, kind of a random one I know, but I, I don't know. I feel at one point it had some value, some Ter Terminator pops. Like I said, I feel like those may have had some value at one point, but I think they're about retail now. But uh, pretty much for the most part, that was pretty much it at Entertain Mart. Pretty solid score. All right, folks, out of Entertain Mart. And one rule that I actually have for this series is that I don't buy new pops and flip those. But this, they had it. This was like a somewhat newer pop. I know it came out last year, but for 10 bucks. Heck yeah, I, I, we're definitely gonna take advantage of that. Although, like I said, we didn't buy it technically in the box lunch store, but you know, I, I'm, I think this is gonna count towards the series. So we're definitely gonna see what we can get out of that. And then I ended up buying this Miles Morales Spider-Man. I think I might just end up keeping this for myself because I do collect this line, but I don't know. I, I'm on the fence about it, but if not, I'm definitely gonna keep it. But hey, kind of an interesting, you know, little trip to entertain Mark for sure. Folks, you know that I love going to thrift stores for the $50 challenge. So we're here at Savers. I have actually found pops here before. I haven't been to this location in a while. So let's head on in. We'll see what they got.
So in this series, guys, I like to show you pretty much everything. Sometimes I don't find things, and this is a good example of that. So at this thrift store, guys, kind of taking a look at their valuable cases. This is probably where they'd have some of their Funko figures and stuff like that. There was some Lego mini figures. There's also some video games. So this would definitely be the place to check. Like I was saying, video games. We all can also can check in the toy section is another good area, but they didn't really have any pops that I could find. They did have a bunch of these Marvel action figures, which I really don't know much about, but I would assume that they're newer, so they don't really hold much value and a bunch of Happy Meal toys. I always find a bunch of those at my local thrift store. But uh, anyways, guys, that was pretty much it at my trip to Savers. Another store that I really love to visit for the $50 challenge is this one over here. That would be good old Gamers Asylum. I found some good deals here before, so let's head on in, see what we can find. So Gamers Asylum was actually looking through a collection that they just brought in. We have some Sailor Moon pops, and actually some of these prices are pretty fair. We also have some Stranger Things as well, but it wasn't enough that I wanted to buy in order to make some more profit to get some more funds back into our wallet to buy some more $100 pops, like I was saying earlier in the video. But yeah, tons of Stranger Things. Things. Most of their prices were pretty spot on on these, but Stranger Things is a good one you always want to be on the lookout for. What else do we got in here? We have some Mary Poppins, another Sailor Moon Pop, which actually has some value. And it might have been an okay one to pick up. I don't know how much I would have made off of that or this one either, but Sailor Moon stuff that you don't really see very often. But anyways, this is their regular section, guys, and I actually do end up finding something pretty solid here in a second. But Ursula, kind of a somewhat, I think it came out last year, but it doesn't really have much value to it. A couple pops from Preacher. I don't really know much about the show, but I think the prices are pretty spot on, and I don't think I could make much profit off of those. Some somewhat older office pops guys we also have some happy gilmore pops that are in there too but i think i'm going to pass on those and then we have some anime pops here we have alphonse elric from full metal alchemist i think i'm going to pass on that one price is about spot on and then i came across this one winry rock bell goes for around 45 to 50 bucks guys and for 15 dollars, great deal we're definitely going to pick that up and we'll add some great funds into our wallet Folks, what a great little score for $15. This pop right here, Winry Rock Bell from Full Metal Alchemist, is going anywhere between like $40 to like $65. Granted, this does have a little bit of box damage and that might be why it's priced the way it is, but hey, I bet I can get a lot more than what I paid out of this and it'll be great to add some more funds back into the collection budget. You know, I just realized that I don't have an introduction to this next clip, but I found somebody selling a little bit of their Funko Pop collection. Pops for $5 a piece, and there is some really solid ones in here. Probably the best ones of the video, but uh, hey, let's hop into the footage. How's it going? Oh, sweet. We'll just, I'll just open my car for you. <laughs> How about that? Thanks for holding those for me, by the way. I appreciate it. I'll just make sure everything's here and we're good to go. All right, Venmo's okay? Sure. I know it's 25, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, folks, we are back at home, so let's set out everything so we can review everything that we ended up getting. All right, everything is laid out, guys, so let's go into prices. So here's how much we spent for everything. All right, let's start off with this little stack that we've got going right here. So we'll start with Carl right there. Carl, I believe, goes for about $30, so I'm gonna say we can get about 25 for him. Both these Spider-Mans are around the same price. They go anywhere between like 25 to 30 bucks, so I think we can get 25 a piece for those. These are definitely the most expensive out of this little stack right here. But Max's prices are kind of all over the place, so I'm just gonna say 40 on her. And then also Danny Zuko, his prices are kind of everywhere as well like on pop price guide he's going for like $90 but on eBay it's like kind of all over the place so I'm gonna say maybe about like $50 on Danny Zuko usually without a box pops I like to do about half of the value maybe a little bit less of what they would be if they did have their box so you got Edward right here I'm gonna say maybe we can get about $20 for him you got Chucky and also Reptar I'm hoping to maybe get 15 for each of those 12th doctor actually with his box is a pretty solid pop guys I think he goes for about $60 so Hopefully, I'm gonna say maybe low end, let's say 25 out of box. And for both Carl, it's kind of funny that we have a Carl in box and out of box right here. But for each of these guys, I'm hoping to maybe get 15 a piece. Winry Rock Belt from Full Metal Alchemist is selling pretty consistently on eBay, anywhere between 40 to 50 bucks. So with the damage, I'm gonna say 40 on this one is what I'm hoping we can sell it for. And then also Green Goblin, we found this one at Entertain Mart for $10. And I think we could probably sell this for around 30 bucks. And with that being said, I think we can add about this much value back into our collection budget, which is awesome. 
So I brought over the leftover pops that I haven't sold yet. So considering everything here, I think we'll have a good chunk of change to add back into our wallet and plenty of funds to buy. I would think at least a couple $100 pops we need. And just like that, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below is your favorite thing that I ended up finding for some good deals. Also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes of this series like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another and always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video or the next episode. Catch you guys later. Bye.